Junction City, Kansas is my hometown. For as long as I can remember, I walked the downtown Junction City area to run errands, such as going to the bank or even to have a bite to eat for dinner. I never stopped to look at the historical buildings and the history that was right at my fingertips. I also have never looked at the signs that are right there in the middle of the sidewalk, giving a brief history of downtown Junction City. Today, I finally discovered some of the history that Junction City has to offer. The Bartell House was opened on February 23, 1880. This was a hotel that was supposed to be a commercial palace rather than just a glorified rooming house. The building of this first-class hotel signaled the end of a long period of economic depression for Junction City. The Bartell House sat empty from 1980 until 2006 when a restoration of the building went underway. The building now finally restored holds a Kites Bar and Grill in the main floor and the restored hotel floors are a senior residence facility. This opera house was newly completed and had the opening date set for January 1882. In January of 1898, a fire swept through the opera house and is considered one of the most memorable disasters in the history of Junction City. In just a brief nine months, the funds were raised and the opera house was rebuilt and opened once again on October 13, 1898. In the 1980s, an opera house foundation was created to raise funds to see the building restored, and the restoration finally began in 2004. The Junction City Opera House has been reopened, and performances and bands once again can be seen on the stage at the Opera House. Sumner Pierce moved to Kansas in 1879 and built the Central State Bank in 1884. In 1889, they changed Central State Bank to Central National Bank. In 1909, the construction started for the new bank building and it opened in 1910. This is the building that is still used to this day for Central National Bank. The building for First National Bank was built in 1870 as the banking house and the basement was where the Junction City Union was published. The First National Bank was organized in 1889 and the current concrete building was built in 1913 with the same design but out of light terracotta instead of brick and stone. The school was built in 1904 and was created to give the city a school with ample room for the students where they could obtain a thorough education. A big modern high school was built in 1958 and put an end to the use of this building. People did not know what would happen to this building until 1982 when the Bramlages purchased the building and it became the site for the Gary County Historical Society Museum. Junction City's third courthouse was completed in May of 1900. There has been a number of remodeling projects since then, but this is still the same courthouse that is used today. Downtown Junction City is filled with history. It was created in a time where structures were designed to last throughout the years, and they have done just that. When walking down the old main street of Junction City, stop and look around. You'll be surprised at what you find. Yeah.